How have you been sleeping? <laughs> Not well, I imagine. What do you do when you don't sleep? You're staring at my hands. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're like this. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you stop it. <sighs> Ever since I was a boy, I'd, I'd laugh at myself in the mirror. And every time I saw my reflection, I'd, I'd laugh. I don't know. Why is that? Don't know. You know, must have been born on a highway since that's where most of the accidents are. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've trained myself to, to, to stop. <laughs> you know, perhaps I was ashamed and, and that's when I started coming up with the jokes to make up for this, this stupid face. You know, sometimes I could just whip up a zinger just, just like that. And others, I'd, I'd just laugh at my face all day. God, how many days has it been? The pianist's spotlight turns off and he disappears. The room is silent. See, all I ever wanted to do was make people laugh, but I, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. I can't even tell if they're laughing at me or the jokes or... If it's just me, you know, that turns my hope against me. Charles Leonard Reese, I presume. Almost resigned, he nods. And you prefer to go by Chuckles? Now he perks up. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> he sits upon the bed. I'm glad you got my letter. Why I got all of your letters. All 115 of them. A bit excessive. I wanted to meet you. I wanted to see you. I can't believe you're here. Rose pulls one of the chairs over and sits before Chuckles, not too close, and holds the letter up to him. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> How did you get my address? It's printed at the front of your books. No, that's the publisher's office. Your first 15 letters went there, but the rest came to my personal home address. He smiles like a naughty boy. Not lie to me. How did you get it? <laughs> 